Milky Way composition. Some of you may be struggling with this, so I wanted to give you a foundation to start from. Number one break the planes. We separate our grid of the image in a rule of thirds. You got lines going across the third that's a vertical, line that's horizontal, and at these thirds you can cross them with elements, a tall structure, or something coming from the right to the left that's making it much more strong. Number two, Balance the positive space with the negative space. There's going to be negative elements in your framing that you don't want and positive elements. Your Milky Way, your really cool foreground, anything that you've light painted, those are all positive elements. Everything else is negative space. And if you can balance the two together in your final crop, in your final production of the image, you'll have a much stronger composition. Number three, weight on the left. This is the most biased for Northern Hemisphere Milky Way than any of the other tips. So while you're looking at me from your perspective, the Milky Way here is on the right side and this space right here on the left is empty. And if you have something with weight, some structure, some interest right there, that weight will counter the weight of the core and come together very nicely. Number four, shape from top to bottom. So looking at here's the Milky Way coming in, you have some shapes over here or shapes over there that come from the top all the way down to the bottom. So while you're breaking the plane and doing all of that, you've also got something of interest that is going across the plane from top of the frame down to the bottom. Five, framing the core. This is something that you've already got and you've already done most likely. But when you have an element of cool rock sticking straight up, or maybe the thing that causes a frame on the top and the bottom and it looks like a window and you're seeing the Milky Way core through it, that's a great way to bring interest into your image. And not just have a boring Milky Way on a sky, but have something that's framing that Milky Way core in a really cool way. Boom, there we go. That is a very quick way of saying all of that. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, I have a tip sheet that you guys can use as future reference. More specifics on each and every tip, I have written all of it up here over on MilkyWayPhotographers.com. Here's the article right now, just barely released. I'll leave a link to it down below. But this article, I go into every element here that I gave you tips about and give you more information. Check out all of these tips as well as images showing examples of it. And you can get the hold of that tip sheet for future reference. See you tomorrow to learn a little bit about the Milky Way and get your Milky Way smarts up. There's a lot of tracking mounts out there and the Move Shoot Move is a very cheap and very small one and you get what you pay for. And I think uh, 